G'day guys, welcome back to the channel, or welcome to my channel. Now, this little fella, he's a little Admiral Mantle Radio. A customer of mine has asked to be fully restored. So, <laughs> we'll do the best we can. Now, uh, it's been in a shed. He has no idea what's, whether it works or what. Um, I think it was his parents' radio. So, yeah, we'll, um, we'll have a closer look at it and see what's ahead of me with this one. I haven't done many admirals in my time. There's, uh, most of them have been bigger grams, the admiral um, grams, and, of course, the precedents and, yeah, stuff like that. But um, it'll be interesting, this one. It's a plastic case in very good order. There's no cracks anywhere or anything like that. The face is pretty grubby. But anyway, we'll have a look. Have a look around it. Take the back off. And, um, yeah, I think she's good enough for a dim bulb. She's a bit... Um, bit crunchy but yeah we'll give it a go okay let's get into it okay so this is what we're looking at a little admiral now this is uh i think this is an aw5 chassis not 100 percent sure but we'll probably find out as when we get into it uh yeah the dial got some uh little friends down in there they're long gone but um yeah they've left their carcasses in there this uh hopefully the the glass comes up well plastic comes up a little bit better tuning yeah doesn't moves a little bit but i don't want to force that um switch seems good on off volume So that all seems okay. Okay. The sides, yeah, very, very good condition. Round the back. Okay. So up here we've got manufactured by Admiral of Australia Proprietary Limited in Bankstown, New South Wales. How's that? Hey. Eh? Serial, serial number, and there it is stamped in the chassis. I think I can see a, an arts and P inside there. Not much to see on the rest of it, really. Um, there's a provision here for an external socket that could have been for a different model, and also a set time, which would have been for a uh, clock. Obviously, there's been, uh, they use the same well probably the same back or possibly the same case for the one with a clock in it so that's interesting as well so nothing else to speak of there's no aerial outlet there is provision here for uh, a pickup which i'm not sure now the other thing that we will be doing that the customer wants with this one is bluetooth so this will be my first bluetooth um, yeah, Bluetooth modification. I've got some ideas for this because it, it hasn't got any external input. We want the Bluetooth to run um, sort of automatically. I'm, I've got an idea that I'm going to uh, probably try it on this and run it by you and just see what you think of uh, an automatic switch on for Bluetooth. Yeah, I'll tell you some more as I go along. Power cord, an old crunchy brown twin core that's um, probably seen better days. Yeah, but I think it's a good candidate for a dim bulb. What do you reckon? I think we can just plug her in. The customer did ask. Can we use the same plug? Um, well, they're sort of a little bit 
illegal these days. Um, now, this one, the back screws on. Oh, gee. Oh, he's starting to move. A bit crunchy. Okay, we won't move that yet. But he has asked, can we uh, keep the plug? I don't think so. The new brown moulded cable that we'll be putting on this, the um, cloth-covered cables that we buy, we or us Aussies buy from Carl in, um, yeah, on eBay. I'll include the link below, and that way you'll, you'll know where to get these. Um, he's a good man. He supplies some good gear. So, um, well, we might plug this in and see how we go. What do you reckon? Okay. I'll get the camera in a little bit better position here. And although maybe I'll just move you out nice and gently like that. I'll just take you up a little bit. Now, the top of this radio... Yeah, it's a little bit, and uh, something, a little bit of a rattle in there, which is always a bit of a worry. Okay, so we're going over here to the dim bulb. That's the bulb we'll be using. Pulling forward. We'll go back to, um, oh, gee, where we start. 80 volts, 80, 80 is a good number. So that's on 80. Okay, here we go. And I just won't touch that. Um, we're off. Turn the dim bulb on. Okay, she is on now. Now, let's turn the radio on and see any life. Where are we? Right there from that bulb. No. And we're drawing three watts. Nothing. We're drawing some power, only uh, 78 volts, and it's drawing two watts. Or 200, um, 200, yeah, sorry, 20 milliamps at the moment. So, okay. Let's go up a little bit. Okay, 140, we still have no dim bulb, which is a little bit strange. That's drawing 7 watts, 6, 7. Any sound? No sound. I should be monitoring the HT here, I know. But, yeah, I just want to see, is this going to go before I take the back of it? Is it going to go bang? Is it going to be smoke? Okay. Let's take her up a bit more. 174 volts. Drawing 8 watts. No sound at all. Not a cracker there. Nothing yet. We're drawing 10 watts. Okay. Bit more. There we go. 200. 200 volts. We're drawing 12 watts. 13 watts. And... Not a sound, which is a bit of a worry, isn't it? No uh, static -y, um, churning gang or anything like that. No static from the volume pod. Nothing. Okay. There we go. 15 watts, which isn't enough, really, at 225 volts. Guys, this is totally, utterly dead. Okay, we'll turn him off, 
Turn the nib mob off. Take that back a bit. And let's get the back off. Let's have a look at what's inside. Obviously, something's not playing ball in here. I can't smell anything burning. So. Let's have a look. Let's have a look, see. It's always exciting. The first time we take the back off things like this. It's almost like Christmas. Okay. Nice big self-tap screws in here. Yeah, the back certainly shouldn't come off with those in there. This one's looks like it's pulled through. Uh, does it come off the bottom first? Maybe it does. No, these screws obviously hold hold it. Okay. There we go. Right. Ooh, there we go. Okay. Let's put a bit of light down on him there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Bit rusty. Bit rusty. Been some spideys in here. Been, yeah, a few spiders. I'll just get the power cord away. Now the power cord goes through the back, so we're going to have to take the plug off the cord anyway. Okay, there we go. This is what we're looking at. This is Restoration Plus, this one. And of course, I said, oh, yeah, that won't be a problem. Like, uh, it's a nice looking little radio. We can soon do this. Yeah. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. It's this thing. Looks like an upright capacitor, but it's not. This um, this little radio is actually mounted on a printed circuit board here. This the valve sockets and the IF cans, everything is mounted on a circuit board, and oh, I do see a couplet in there. A little brown couplet. Yeah. I don't like those at the best of times. Um, because if, uh, there's a few components in them. They're probably better known as a thick film device uh, in Australia. Where there's a few, a few things mounted. There's just a few components inside them. Okay, guys, I think it's time we uh, got this out of the chassis. I think we've, we've, yeah, we're disgusted enough so far. So, <laughs> and I mean disgusted, not disgust. So, <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's get these off. And yeah, we've even got little little fellas that have been living in there. It's pretty interesting. We have some big nuts on the front here, which obviously I think these are part of holding the radio in. The barrel nuts. No, they may hold the front on by the look of this. 
What's behind here? Okay. Here we go. A very, very nice dial. A little bit loose. The uh, Perspex here, well, I think this will clean up reasonably well. We've got some little fellas that have uh, been living in here. These are little fellas that uh, eat your speaker. But there's one little patch there with which they've eaten right up the top, up there. But otherwise, the speaker look. The speaker looks pretty good. Okay, I'll just sit that aside. What's this thing? Piece of cardboard. Spare no expense. Look at that. Just a little piece of uh, board, chipboard. By the look of that. Right. This is interesting. I've never seen one like this. Now, yeah. there's, uh, yes, this fella comes off, just pulls off, and also in very good order, which is good. Now, our dial plastic, not dial glass, Ah, it's got cardboard on the back as well. Yeah, certainly spared no expense with this whole thing. So, here we go. Um, goldish cardboard on the back. Held by a bit of tape. And that must be where the lamp actually shines yeah okay oh okay this th it isn't held by anything it's just sitting there and yes yeah, some of that fella there come off on this but i don't think that's going to worry us too much that will clean up nice. Nicely painted on there. We've got no worries about this. This will all clean up if we're nice and gentle with it. Been a few bugs and bits and pieces and everything behind here. Um, we might get some... Uh, new gold paper, I think, for this fella. It's a little bit of cardboard. I'm sure um, a good stationery shop can fix me up with some gold cardboard. And, um, yeah, that dial will look very nice once it's done. Okay. The dial, poor little dials, the globe's been in here. He's melted a little bit of the front of the cabinet. Screw here, which probably holds the rest of the chassis in, because I don't think there's any... No, there's no screws underneath, so that would be what holds the rest of him in. Four screws holding the speaker in. The speaker is... Oh, there's a little bit of rubbing there. Not too bad, but yeah, oh, he may be okay. All right, let's let's get this out. Now this will be a multi-part series, I suppose, um, because there's a bit to do th to this one. The guy that owns it wants it done um, neatly professionally he said i thought well you might have bought it in the wrong place 
Um, okay, here we go. The chassis, chassis comes out. Now, how the speaker's mounted. Ah, yes, that will come out there. Okay, here we go. Ooh. Okay, now, the speaker's on. There's little plugs here that actually connect the speaker transformer onto the chassis. You see those? That fella there, that fella there. How about that? I haven't seen that before. Okay, so it's this fella here. And they're just sitting in a grommet. Like this is your HT, possibly in on the brown and um, the blue should go to the plate of whatever the output tube is. Looks like a 6AQ5 actually on this. Not sure of the valve set up. I can see the rectifier is a 6X4. I'd say a uh, 6BE6, 6BA6 and something there. So maybe a 6AV6. Just uh, off the top of my head. Just, um, oh, you, didn't, you didn't see that. That one in there, 6BE6, BA6. 6AV6, I think, as our um, detector. And, um, yeah, our output looks like a 6AQ5, 6X4 there for the rectifier. A can uh, there, a uh, can cap. Now, I can't see what he is. Okay, here we go. My speaker's out. As you can see, one little hole. And it doesn't look like it's been eaten. It looks like something's pierced through it. Anyway, there's our transformer. Okay, 6,000 ohm to 3 ohm impedance. Now for the important bit. This is the bit that um, I'm not looking forward to. Let's see if it's okay. Let's put him on ohms. Let's see if we've got any continuity across here. Okay. Oh, yes. 538, 540. Yes, we're right. Right. So we know the transformer is okay. So, yes, there was no sound, but uh, that can be anything. But we know this little baby is okay. So let me get rid of this lot here and get it outside so it doesn't put more rubbish all over me bench or me hands. Well, guys, actually, I'm sort of a bit stunned with this radio. This is about the simplest radio I've ever seen. Like, there's the full radio there on a circuit board. I can see three resist four resistors a couplet two caps and whatever that thing is and a can cap that's, that's it and underneath well there's not much more two caps there a new resistor we've got to find out what's going on here now what's going to happen here i can see what's going to happen <laughs> 
It's going to be another plum pudding. Transformer comes in here. Take these wires off. Take these fellas off. Undo the tuner and remove. Well, it's pretty easy, actually. Remove the whole circuit board. But first of all, I want to see why it's not going. Okay, so um, before we do anything, we've got to get some noise out of this thing. But yes, resurrecting it will just make sense that we drop the circuit board. Um, very easy to do the cleaning up. This bracket's going to have to be de-rusted and coated with something, or both the brackets actually that hold the antenna rod. Uh, the transformer, yeah, fairly fair bit of um, rust there. But anyway, before we get too carried away, uh, I will um, put put a meter on our HT. Now I think that's him. He goes up to here, to there. Uh, yeah, and our blue goes down to. 6AQ5. Okay, let's put the um, meter voltage. We'll put this to ground. At least it's easy to work on. We'll slip that in there. And that's, well, still 16 volts in the cap. So something happened when I tried to uh, fire it up. I'll get my lead of death and connect up what uh, what's left of this power lead. And we'll try the dim bulb again and try and work out, well, what, what is happening here? Um, what's the HT? We'll put some jump wires onto here. We've, um, I'll put this on the function generator just to see, is it going to, although I might be able to do that. Quickly, with a diode check, can I? Can we do, we got enough voltage here? Yes. There we go. And you can probably hear that. So we know the speaker's okay. That's what I was interested in. Okay, so we'll put that fella and that fella. Now we'll monitor the HT on that side, actually it's back the front, so I don't need any squealing when all this is going on, not that probably will, put him over the back somewhere, right, and I'll get a couple of jump leads here, we'll set it up and um, see what see what happens, righto guys, well we're all set up, we're connected to the dim bulb, got me meter on the uh, the HT, HT1 of the speaker transformer, which has still got a little bit of residual voltage in there. We're on um, 120 volts on our Variac over there. We'll be watching that lamp there as far as what happens. Um, might... Um, I'd actually turn a lamp off and it'll give you a little bit better little bit better picture of what's going on there. Okay, so turn him on. There we go. And here we go. So this is a lamp. That one there, we're watching. Okay, here we go. And come up, dimming off. Dimming off nicely. Okay. Now, let's watch our HT here because that's coming out of our 6X5. And he should start conducting fairly soon. Well, I think he will. We are down in voltage there. We're only on 120 volts, so uh, takes a little while to... There we go. He's coming up. I just want to warm him up fairly slowly. Okay, he's coming up. 
is cool. And we do have HT here, so um, that's a good thing. Well, we think it's HT. Here we go, seven volts. Okay, let's take our variac up. We're up to 153 there, 153. And, well, it's still coming up. Nothing's hot there. And he's starting to conduct fairly well now. 70, 80. And now the sun's come out coming through my shed. I hope you, you can still see the meter okay there. Okay, we're on 109. We're coming up fairly well. Okay, up a bit. We're up to 180 on the AC. Dim bulb is just glowing. Just a little bit of glow there. And we're pulling drawing um, 10 watts. 141 on the HT. No sound yet. Okay. Okay, it's steady at 144. We'll take him on up. Uh, 211 there. HT's coming up. Okay, 164, we'll take him up to uh, 226. Now, we'll, we'll stabilise at that. And now we will check the other side of the transformer. And yeah, that's fine. So we do have the transformers working fine. We've got no, no audio at all. 6AQ5 is getting warm, but uh, AQ5 is run pretty hot. That's not hot enough. Give me a regal. Nothing happening there. Nothing there with the... Okay. Not a sausage, Donny. Not a sausage. Okay. <laughs> now we've got a, a very burnt looking. Why are we on resistor in there? I'm a little bit sus on him. We might now do some checks. This side of him, what have we got here? We've got um, 175. What have we got on the other side? I get in there and I... How can I get in there? Yeah, I think that resistor is open circuit. I'm pretty sure that big fella there is open circuit. A fella in there. And he's probably the HT feed for the AQ5. Um, not real sure. Um, our meter is still on, so we still have HT there. Nothing there, but yet on this end we've got 175. Uh, 
I think we're going to burn up resistor here. Okay. First place to start, let's have a look at the circuit. I have downloaded a circuit just a while ago on this. Turn him off. Let's have a look. This is what we've got. If you want to take a screenshot or you want to, yeah. But these are, uh, this is available from kevinchant.com. Kev, thank you so much. You offer so many circuits. Great website, easy to use. And you, gee, yeah. Um, and of course, Radio Museum. Okay. Now, if we look in here, we've got a 4K at 3 watts. 4,000 ohm, 3 watt resistor. Coming off, uh, I'll have to turn some more lights on in a minute. Coming off um, the cathode of our 6X5 and to our cap and then up. And of course, feed right across, right through to virtually all parts of the circuit. So that's the resistor. It's a 4K. And I'd say. That's open circuit. Yeah, we've got, we got no voltage anywhere else. Okay, so the resistor is open circuit. Let's, uh, let's go and find a 4K resistor. I'll turn him back off. We'll find a 4K resistor. Okay, guys, let's see what I've got in this stash here. 10 ohms, they're not much good to us. 470, 470. Uh, two and a half meg. That's not much good to us either. Well, guys, I think I found one. I think that reads 4K. Anyway, put him on the meter and see what he is. And he's 4K. Well, I was look, going to look for a 3.9, but there we go. 4K, exactly what we need. Okay, I'll move this rubbish and we'll put him in. Okay, so I think he goes from here, which is your B plus line, over to here, which is uh, where our cap is. So we'll lift him here. And hopefully this old solder will take in the wick. Yep. No problem. Probably helps me if I put my mic on, doesn't it? I seriously need a wireless mic. And you can probably hear my budgies in the background going, going off. It's nice and sunny today, so they're happy. I'll have to do a video, a walk around of the workshop for you and where the birds are so that when you hear them next time you'll sort of understand what i mean with them it's a matter of getting that off without lifting the track can we break that away now Uh, just try and yeah. ah, there he goes. Okay, he's broken away from the solder. I'll try and straighten him. There we go. And the same with this one. Yeah. Okay, we should be able to lift him out. Now, can you guys see him? Yes, you can. There he is. There we go. Okay. Yeah. yeah he's not in real good order, this fella. He's had a bit of a hard time. Okay. 
I'm just going to get a brush, just clean that away a little bit. And for the moment, I'm tacking the other one on the back of the circuit board because this has got to be, well, all done properly. It's got to be cleaned up anyway. So in the interim, I'm just going to put this fella just on the other side. So he's on there. Yes, he's temporary. Okay. Let's uh, let's see now. Is uh, we got him turned off? Yep. So turn my dim bulb on. Take you guys back a little bit so you can watch the dim bulb. Now this will draw a fair bit more current, so the dim bulb will be uh, quite a bit brighter at the moment. And if I get yes. Where's the light not shining on it? There. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. Let's turn him on. Bingo. Here we go. And down here, two volts. Now, up on this cap. Now, bearing in mind this cap hasn't been reformed yet because he... The resistor was open circuit, so we're just going to watch it. And there he goes, going up. Okay, no audio yet. No smoke yet. And I hear a click from the speaker. Uh, yes, I hear audio. Okay, now we're down to 57. I'm going to flick him over to the other dim bulb. That's the fella on the other side. Okay, that one there. We do have audio. We've got now got uh, one oh nine. We'll flick both dim bulbs in, give him a little bit more juice. We've got about one hundred and twenty watts there. It's drawing eighteen point eight, which is probably pretty normal. Main HT is one twenty five. I'm not sure what it's supposed to be but I think it's supposed to be a fair bit higher than that. Let's see. It uh, doesn't tell me. Yes, it does. 175. So that's sort of what we're looking for on the hour. 180. There we go. 180. And at the moment, we've got 130. Where the capacitor is still reforming. 117 on there, but um, main HT 130, and he is coming up. Okay, and we do have audio. Do we have any RF? Nope, and our cap. Our cap can is getting quite warm there at the moment. Not hot, but he is quite warm. This resistor is fairly hot. Not, uh, not overly, it's not burning hot. 120. So I think this, this uh, cap can is struggling a little bit reforming. I'll just leave him for a moment. Oh, hang on. What do we got here? Okay. I think I hear static <laughs> after all that. Yes. I can hear something.
and I think you can hear that. We've got something, but we've also got, I'd say, dirty, uh, dirty sockets on the valves. Okay, let's gently put him over. Now, I've got to be careful here because the resistor is laying down a bit. Uh, yeah, it's going to rest on him. This is where you need your solder wick. There you go. Done. Now, maybe that fella. Yeah. A six BE6, maybe a bit, a bit dirty. Oh, yeah. Dirty plates on our tuning gang. A bit scratchy. Warm. But I think he's reforming okay. I'd say we've got a, quite a few problems here. But at least, well, we know it's going to work. We know this is good. The 6AQ5 is fairly quiet, but that could be... The AQ5 itself, and I think we're fixed. No, we haven't fixed our problem there. So we've still, still got a problem in here. No, it's on the board. Okay, I'll um, I'll spray some lube on um, some contact cleaner on all the valve sockets. We'll come back and see if, if that noise is still present. It could be a dry joint on this board. I just want to eliminate a fair few things before we pull this board out and, yeah, just check everything and resurrect it. Well, guys, well, I, I think um, some of the problem is probably the 6BE6. If there's something else to it doesn't seem to be a problem on the board it seems to be the tube itself anyway um, full volume is not doing a hell of a lot at the moment I'm putting in another 6BE6. He seems to be a bit microphonic, so I'll just eliminate that to start with. Okay. Could be on the circuit board, but uh, anyway, we'll see. Okay, here we go. Guys, I think we got less than what we had. We got nothing happening there now. I've also found another 6AQ5. This is very quiet. Probably not the valve, but um, just I saw them there and I thought, well, I may just change him, see what it is. I think this radio has had a lot of use. And I think that's uh, maybe the 6X5 is a bit tired as well. That's why we've got low. But then again, our capacitor is warm. So obviously that's not doing real good either. Now, there's a 16 mic and an 8 mic in that can. And, nope. Nope. We haven't done any good, guys. I'd say we've got a dry joint, something somewhere. Let's. Let's have a poke around. Our volume level there is way too low. So what we'll come back to is checking our HT again.
Okay, so main HT on here is 130. Well, that's pretty low. We're looking at 175. And this fella here at 93. I think um, the main problem is low HT. 132 on that fella, 94 on that, and 132. So that's our main cap. We have a look at our diagram, um, which would be the 16 mic, actually, straight out of the power supply, out of the cathode of the uh, 6X4 straight up here so yeah that fella but um we could exchange the 6x4 now and just see what difference it does make but yeah we need 180 volts here and we've got 130 so it could be just tired it might be this cap okay i've got a, another 6x4 yeah this fella's I reckon that fella's had a, a very, very hard time. Okay, compared to this one. So, let's try it and see, can we get a, a little bit better HT on everything? Okay. Now, we'll tip him up. We'll put our, our meter here. Now, I'll measure this fella with a just try and get that on there so it doesn't touch anything. Measure this and see how we go. Okay. See, can we get up around the 180 mark? Up she goes. Look at that. Straight off. Okay. We'll go to 230 volts. There you go. Okay. That made all the difference. A very tired old 6X4. So now 167, and our other one is on here is 116, 167. So, yeah, a fair bit of difference. Okay. Let's see. Have we got any more audio or what's going on? Our cap is getting quite hot, so yeah. No. We've still got we've got no RF. Very low audio. What do we do? Okay. Voltage is on this fella. The six B E six. One thirty six. One thirty six. Minus four, which sounds about right for the bias. 50 volts on the 6AV6. Down here, now there's a 470K on the 6AV6 somewhere. Where is that? Because that resistor there is not on this circuit. Maybe it's, um, maybe it's across the couplet, actually. There's a 470 there, there's a 470 there. So maybe between five and four on the couplet, maybe between six and seven on the couplet. That uh, could have, yeah, could be making the difference as to why they've put that resistor in there. Okay, 6AQ5, um, zero on, um, on the grid. 
five volts on the cathode, so 6AQ5. This is a little bit hard to get at. Okay, um, leave with me. I'm going to familiarise myself with what's here and come back to it. Right, guys, now I seem to have a bit of volume. Well, we've got static, some description there. Bit of a strange volume control here, but anyway. Um, a 6AV6 we've put in. So um, the um, detector, this fella here, I've just changed him, and at least we've got some oomph going through to our 6AQ5 now. Now, it's a matter of what's happening before here now with this 6BE6 and all this rubbish. And hang on. Uh, if I get the aerial around the right way, we might pick up a station here. Okay. Oh, look at that. And I think we've got we've got a few more problems happening there. Okay, but at least, now, can we get around to right to the end? Yes. Now, let's, uh, there you go, turned off a light. Hey. just fishing. It's about how we're going to look after our marine environment. And we currently have... Now, guys, yeah, we've got a scratchy pot. Yeah, the minister should be conducted. But we have operation. Now, another thing that I did that um, I thought I broke the wire off the antenna to the, um, the, the rod antenna to the tuning gang. Now, I think I broke that off, but I'm not sure. So I resoldered it on and, well, yeah, the rest is... But that, the 6 uh, AV6 was the main problem, which is um, odd. Oh, gee, we got... Okay, we'll go off dim bulb. Okay, she's she's on full power. Now, let's see, there's a trimmer up the ante. Sure does. Okay. Well, guys, the radio is working. So what I want to do now, as I said before, I know it's all working, is take this board out, clean it all up. I will, uh, I'll put capacitors in. Uh, I don't know whether I'm going to restuff this one. I think, uh, I think we can do that. Uh, clean up the uh, tuner. I, this is the time I seriously need a, an ultrasonic machine, isn't it, to do this fella. Boy, that needs doing. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to disable the dial cord because of this little pulley down here, which is running in the muck. But um, we'll find something else we can do there. I don't know what yet. But anyway, um, there it is, part one, the Admiral 5AW. So he's up, going, the 6AQ5 helped a little bit, 6X4 helped at no end because it just, <laughs> the other one had just 
expired. Uh, 6AV6 was the major problem, the detector, of uh, low or almost no audio. There was a little bit of detection there, but almost nothing. Now, yes, there's plenty of audio. 6AQ5s are great. 6BA6 seems to be working, and this, the original 6BE6 is back in there. So there was no problems there. It was just loose connections and so forth. All right, that's why I want to take this board out, tighten all the sockets up, uh, clean them, and, um, yeah, I think that will be part two. What do you think, guys? Um, I think we've we've got this up and going, so let's go down the track and we'll do some things into part two. Otherwise, this this just ends up way too long. Okay, so if you're enjoying it, thumbs up, subscribe, follow me along. Follow what I'm doing here on the next video with this fella. I think it's going to come up rather nice, actually. Even though it started off a, a bit, how are you going? Uh, I think this will make a good radio. Okay, guys. So until next time, bye for now.